This year marks a decade in the music industry for indie pop artist Lisa Mitchell. It all began when a softly spoken 16-year-old from the country town of Aubrey impressed the judges on Australian Idol. It's even the best fall down sometimes. Yeah, even the stars refuse to shine. She didn't win, but her innocent folk stylings captured the hearts of listeners, and it became the springboard for a successful music career. Now at the ripe age of 26, and currently based in Sydney, Mitchell has just released her third album, Warriors. There's a four So you used to live around here in Rushcutters Bay? Yeah, I did. I used to come down here all the time when I was writing my album and just write in my journal at this cafe. Um, it's kind of a little bit off the main drag, so it's quiet and no one really knows about it, I like to think. I made these orders and I'm deep in a I started writing songs when I was probably about 11. One of the great things that Aubrey did have was a youth cafe. So they basically had open mic nights once a week, um, and that was really cool. Uh, and then busking was really big. Did you busk? I did, yeah. Make, make much money? Actually, you make quite a lot of money busking, yeah. But I remember making like 50 bucks one time just on the main street in Aubrey. And yeah, my sister was like outraged that I had made that much money. My songwriting process is really random. I don't really control it. It's just completely to do with when I feel so inspired by something or moved by something that I have to make a little monument for it, which is often a song. The Boys is actually inspired by a time in Sydney, um, kind of around Manly and the beaches kind of area. And yeah, it was a day when I was just hanging out with a whole, whole bunch of mates who happened to be guys. But yeah, one of uh, my friend's dads had just passed away and so all of his mates were all kind of just hanging out with him. It's so interesting, like, seeing how this group of guys are kind of showing their condolence um, in, yeah, I guess a different way than I feel women do. Your latest album, Warriors, has a nostalgic feel. Where did the thinking for this one come from? I'm just interested in, uh, I guess, like my 15-year-old self and, you know, what she was interested in. Like, I just think there's something really interesting about that age as well for anyone. I, and I think there's a real uh, kind of strength in the sense that you're so naive that uh, your dreams are massive. I turn my head up to the sky, I focus one thought at a time. I do not let the little thieves under my tightly button sleep. You rose to fame in 2006 on Australian Idol. Um, you were a teenager then, you're now 26. Thinking back about that time, how surreal was that for someone so young? Uh, I think for me at the time, I kind of loved it. It meant that I wasn't at school. <laughs> you know, I was in year 10 at that time. And so, yeah, it was. it's just blows my mind still that that is how I started my music career. When I came off Idol, I did feel pressure that I needed to prove myself, which in hindsight, I kind of feel a little bit like, oh, that sucks that I had to feel like that. But I was so kind of, uh, yeah, grateful to be really embraced by Triple J when I first started writing my own albums after Idol. Like that was a really, um, yeah, massively powerful. Oh, Lisa Mitchell's latest single name checks pop art icon Andy Warhol. Sky, 
I love pop art. And how that song actually came about was I had a guitar part and I had melodies, but I didn't really have set lyrics. So I basically went through the song and was just kind of mumbling and uh, just making melodies and stuff. Uh, but it just sounded like gobbledygook. But then when I listened back, I kept hearing Warhol. And I loved it. I was like, ah, oh, how great. Like, that'd be so beautiful to have him being this um, kind of inspiration that I'm drawing on. As a musician, what feelings do you get just before you present your new baby to the world? I do get nervous. I mean, I kind of, parts of me kind of go, surely this gets easier, you know, releasing music, but it definitely doesn't. It's still like, I still am curbing the uh, urge to just run for the hills. That word vulnerable is kind of, I think, a really, um, like really accurate way of describing the feeling of, you know, making something that you care about.